The successor to the Hubble Space Telescope has been delayed yet again and will not now launch until approximately May 2020. The James Webb Space Telescope is also in danger of busting the cost cap put on the project by the U.S. Congress. Back in 2011, politicians on Capitol Hill said the observatory should not take more than $8 billion to build and $800 million to operate over five years in orbit. The tsunamis could provide crucial information about the habitability of ancient Mars. The first one occurred when the planet must have been relatively warm and amenable for life, because it carved out backwash channels as it returned to the sea. By contrast, the planet had become much cooler by the time the second tsunami hit. Scientists have recommended actions the government of Madagascar's recently elected president, Andriy Rajolina, should take to turn around the precipitous decline of biodiversity and help put Madagascar on a trajectory towards sustainable growth. Madagascar's protected areas, some of the most important for biodiversity in the world, have suffered terribly in recent years from illegal mining, logging, and collection of threatened species for the pet trade.
Free trade is an economic policy under which the government does not interfere with trade. No tariffs are applied to imports or exports, and people are allowed to trade goods and services as they please. Supply and demand dictates the prices for which goods and services sell, and are the only factors that determine how resources are allocated in society. Most succulent plants are found in regions where there is little rainfall, dry air, plenty of sunshine, porous soils and high temperatures during part of the year. These conditions have caused changes in plant structures, which have resulted in greatly increased thickness of stems, leaves and sometimes roots, enabling them to store moisture from the infrequent rains. Most peasants remain self-sufficient and skeptical about money, and with good reason, the triumph of capitalism probably made them worse off. They now had to deal with a centralized imperial state that was collecting tax more efficiently, giving more power to landlords, and slowly reducing customary peasant rights to land and produce.
We all know about bacteria, viruses, and microscopic protozoa. We can watch the way that these tiny agents move into our bodies and damage our organs. We have a growing understanding of how our body mounts defensive strategies that fight off these invaders, and have built some clever chemical that can help mount an assault on these biovillains. Globalization has affected what we eat in ways we are only beginning to understand. Modern food production no longer relates to our biological needs but is in direct conflict with them. The relationship between diet and our fertility, our risk of cancer, heart disease and mental illness is becoming clearer. Yet much of our food is nutritionally bankrupt. About 46,000 nuclear weapons were produced during the Cold War era, leading to tremendous volumes of acidic radioactive liquid waste seeping into the environment. A new study suggests yeast as a potentially safer and more cost-effective way to help clean up these radioactive waste sites.
Hundreds of millions of American people eat fast food every day without giving it too much thought, unaware of the subtle and not so subtle ramifications of their purchases. They just grab their tray off the counter, find a table, take a seat, unwrap the paper, and dig in. The whole experience is transitory and soon forgotten.